next in task 5 we will swap the staging slot with the production slot okay go to the azure portal so this is the staging deployment slot okay so go to the uh, deployment slot so before that uh, this is the production deployment slot let's copy this url and uh, access it so we see uh, the default um, the page let's close it and now we are going to swap the slot with the staging slot so click on deployment slots and you see there is a swap option click on it Uh, so review the default uh, values here source target and click on swap so now uh, this staging slot will become the uh, production slot So let's wait for this swap to be complete. Okay, so this is complete. Close it. Now go back to the overview. And now let's copy the URL of this production slot. And go to that URL. Now we see that hello world message coming from the production slot. Okay, so next uh, we'll see task 6 to configure and uh, test auto scaling with the Azure Web App. So now we are going to configure and test auto scaling of the Azure Web App. So now we are in the production slot and scroll down under settings. Click on scale out app services plan and click on custom auto scale so custom auto scale auto scale setting name and resource group so leave this default and scale mode scale based on metric and let's add click on add a rule So metric source, current resource, and time aggregation, let's change it to maximum, and metric namespace, app service plan standard metrics, and metric name, CPU percentage, in operator greater than metric threshold to trigger scale action change it to 10 duration change it to one minute Okay, time grind statistics change it to maximum operation increase count to buy and cool down five minutes instance count to one and click on add and here instance limit minimum one maximum change it to two 
and default one and click on save okay let's wait for this to be complete okay next open the cloud shell Okay, I'm going to run the following command to identify the URL of the Azure Web App. RG name. And uh, Web App. Okay, next run the following command to start infinite loop that's in the HTTP request to the web app while color true web request web app dot default name okay do not close the cloud shell just minimize it so on the web app blade let's go to the monitoring section And click on process explorer okay so now we see the number of instance count has increased to two Okay, so that's all in this module. Make sure to clean up all the resources that you have deployed. So hit Control C to cancel this and close the cloud shell. So in this lab, we have created an Azure Web App and created a staging deployment slot and then we have configured the web app deployment settings then we have uh, deployed a code to the staging deployment slot and then we have swapped the staging slots and finally we have configured and tested the auto scaling of the azure web app